biggest difference week one to week two in terms of you being able to make you know, impactful plays, which you did throughout the game Sunday night? Um, week one, week two for us was just finishing, I believe. Um, I feel like the first game we didn't finish the way that we wanted to. But the second game, we just bring more energy. Uh, we bring more just togetherness, and we wanted to finish for sure. It wasn't a good taste in our mouth the first week, so we wanted to clean it up the second. So, Speaking of energy, that tackle for loss, you showed a lot of energy after that one. Just, you know, what were you feeling in that moment, and, and what does it mean for you to just kind of show that for the rest of the defense in that moment? Yeah, I just wanted to create a momentum switcher, you know what I mean? Like, you know, Pat Mahomes is a pretty good player. We, we all know that. And, uh, you know, when he gets going, he can really get going. So you need to make a play for your team to stop that momentum to switch it in our, on our favor. So I just wanted to make a play for my team and just get them off the field and get us off the field so offense can work. Justin, they like to rotate the defensive linemen here. Does that ever make it hard to get into a rhythm, or are you pretty comfortable with, with, with the way they do it here? Uh, yeah, I don't really. Uh, that's a yeah. I, I, I guess I feel more comfortable with, with with the rotation that we have going on. I just trust and weave and and wink and whatever position they put me in, you know, to make plays for my team. You know, I'm I'm willing to do it. So, um, yeah. Justin, um, you guys played 20 different defensive players on uh, Sunday. Guys going down. You know, some guys have just gotten here that are playing. Is there a sense that this is kind of a gradual process for this defense of getting to know each other, figuring out what everyone does best, and just kind of building building this thing up throughout the season? Yeah, I mean, when we go out here, we uh, play as a team, we communicate. All, all those little things that we t tells us to do, uh, be loud, communicate, communicate out loud, because in the game is going to be loud, you know what I mean? We're not going to be able to hear each other. So when we start doing that every day on practice, we get to be familiar with each other's voices, get familiar with each other and what we're going to say. and. Uh, you know, eventually when guys come in from uh, just whatever team that they come in from, they just know how we do things over here, and then they just tag along with us. And on the game day, it's pretty, it's pretty easy because we make it easy on practice. So, Justin, with the addition of uh, Adafe and Justin Houston, have you noticed the difference in the defensive line this year? Oh, definitely on the edges for sure. Yeah, those, those guys are really great players. They're really great guys, and they, uh, that they definitely make, you know what I'm saying, our whole defense – as a whole, more strong by holding that edge and uh, creating pressure for the quarterback, so he can step up and I can clean him up. Or even if I if I step up, they can clean it up. So we help each other win, and we help each other be successful on the field. So, Justin, considering you were a rookie last year, how impressive is it for Oway to get Defensive Player of the Week in his second NFL? Yeah, game? he's he is he is he is something. I call him people call him an athlete. I call him an athlete elite. You know what I mean? Because he's like six five, two fifty, running a four four like. Chasing people down, the quarterbacks can't get around them. They better figure that out pretty soon. They got to find another tactic for him. But he's a beast. He's just, he's just gonna keep growing, keep getting better. He's he's, he's gonna be great for us. So. Harp said after the game on Sunday that you would earn more reps, and I think it was your second highest percentage of snaps over your career. Just how much did it feel, or how good did it feel to get that many reps? And, and do you feel like you're building momentum? Uh, you know, it felt good to play. You know, I definitely want to play. You know, as many snaps as I can, and um. You know, I'm just trying to do whatever it takes to build this team, build, build the defense. And um, I wasn't even tired, really. I didn't feel like I played that much. And I looked at the sheets. I was like, oh, I played 20, uh, 27, 20 plays. I didn't even feel like it. I felt like I played like 15, really. I just had a lot of energy that night. And, um, you know, as long as I have that, I, I can play all game, really. I just, whatever coach wants me to do, I'm going to do it. Have you figured out yet how you were called for holding? <laughs> I, yeah, so I got the double team, boom. They've knocked me off five yards. I'm like, okay, well, I got to get my five yards back. You know what I mean? And uh, I stayed on the guard, and I, my my thumb got caught into his armpit, and it turned him. And that's when the ref called him. I thought I made a great play, but I saw the flag. I was like, okay, it got to be on offense, like holding something. And I said 92. I was like, no way it was me. But I saw the film. I was like, okay, I see why they did it. I don't, I don't think it was a good call, but, you know. Justin, what do you see out of uh, golf and this Lions offense? Really solid line. Golf's a pretty good quarterback. Um, we need to uh, make him his his life uncomfortable, and in the game, uh, creating pressure, hitting him, um, have good receivers. So we have a good game plan going on. We just need to execute in practice, and it'll transfer to the game. And then Washington, they've actually had a lot of success rushing the ball so far this year as well. And DeAndre Swift, in particular, what do you? 
when you look at their scheme and everything, is it something you're like, all right, like familiar comfortability with what they're trying to do? Yeah, they're a downhill running team, but you know, we're a, a run stopping defense, so it's gonna be a pretty good matchup. I played Swift in college. He was the second. To, it's crazy. I played Clyde Edwards. I learned my last game in college, and my, my second to last game, I played Swift, and I'm playing the back to back. It's pretty, pretty familiar faces. I know kind of what they do, kind of what their uh, style is. So, um, yeah, we need to plug that run in, stop them from doing what they want to do, so we can win the game. Good. All right. Thank Thanks. you, Justin. Thanks,